Hello, I'm Marina Valentina, hypnotherapist and founder of Mind Healing and Life Transforming Solutions. I just wanted to share with you some magic that happened today and happens every day when I work with clients. And I want to give you perhaps hope and the knowledge how you can transform your life. Um, depression or anxiety, fear, phobias that hold people back, they are, they exist only in their minds. And if you struggle, let me just tell you the story. Perhaps you can relate some bits of it and perhaps you can find a way for yourself to, to feel great, to, to find a way to heal your past and your story so you can have a greater future. I am here at my practice um, in Hofton, at the doctor's surgery, and doctors refer to me their patients, and I'm grateful for that. And I just wanted to share what have happened just a moment ago, when uh, I had a patient or a client, client who, for, who struggled for 35 years connecting with people, struggled with anxiety, and just uh, isolated himself totally. He didn't have a life, basically. Um, and it wasn't his f uh, first session, I must admit. It was his uh, fifth session. And before, he was kind of getting better and uh, felt a little lighter, but still the uncontrollable sweating that he wanted to change and uh, the confidence still not we're not quite there and today he came and before that i commented that uh, perhaps when he is ready to open himself up to the world perhaps he might want to sh uh, to shave his beard and today he came with no beard first time in 35 years uh, and he is in his 60s and it's like wow something is about to happen something is extraordinary uh, going to happen today and uh, we talked again about the event that happened long time ago when he was employed and he's a very smart very clever man computer scientist and uh, at some point his boss made him feel small um, he said over to you, come back to me when you're ready, it's your problem, you go and deal with that. And he took it so personally, um, and since that, uh, he divorced, he couldn't see people anymore. Uh, I mean, no communication there whatsoever with anyone, uh, anyone who could uh, start speaking to him, he would just end the conversation as soon as possible because um, he felt that feeling of inferiority, uh, in smallness if you like, and also this uh, sweatiness was going on that he was so ashamed of. So today simple exercise and uh, if you studied NLP perhaps you know about this change in perception um, of the event so we dressed his boss in a very funny costume in his mind uh, he was like a little elf um, half naked and the uh, boss was uh, laughing and uh, uh, making jokes and it was lots of balloons there lots of uh, uh, party type of music uh, christmas uh, uh, jingle bells uh, music and then some other people started to come in and suddenly he released that oh my god was was that was was holding him uh, from feeling good about himself he started crying like a baby baby he was forgiving himself uh, seeing how how not important this conversation was he made he gave this importance to his boss but actually he was a human being and he probably wasn't uh, 
feeling good about himself under pressure you know we don't know what was happening in his life and suddenly he saw that from a different perspective and uh, after <laughs> some good crying he like oh my gosh i have never or i haven't felt that good that light for ma for many many years in and he now can uh, as he said relate to people and uh, give himself permission to to be himself to respect himself and to accept himself unconditionally and we were talking about men's language and uh, women's language ladies language if uh, it was uh, a bit more feminine energy he could say i love myself now unconditionally uh, and he did say that actually and uh, it was huge realization for him his mind uh, his consciousness opened up to that intelligence that is flowing through each of us and when we don't have this resistance that we sometimes create we then begin to to live joyful and happy life we connect to, to people interact with people with ease because that's how we are meant to be that's how we are supposed to be and everything is at ease happiness is our birthright uh, joy is uh, that's what we are meant to experience here and yes some contrast some un discomfort if you like is okay but being stuck for so many years no it's not right learn the lessons and get to move on and uh, if you do struggle ask for help you know being weak and staying there that's what weakness is but thinking that you know what i can reach out for help and uh, can change me in my life that's strength thank you